What's up everybody, my name is Jay Yudlowski. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're into photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. I try to release a new video every week. In this video, I want to talk about Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're new to photography, you might be wondering which one is the right one for me. Should I use Photoshop? Should I use Lightroom? Should I use something different? So I'm gonna share my thoughts with you on whether you should be using Photoshop, Lightroom, both, or something different. So let's get into it. All right, so you've heard of Photoshop and Lightroom, and thankfully you can get both of them through Adobe through their Creative Cloud plan for uh, about, I think it's 10 bucks a month. Not too bad to get both programs. So if you're new to photography, you might be wondering, which one do I use? Do I use Photoshop or do I use Lightroom? So Photoshop is great if you wanna do some in-depth editing, you wanna retouch pictures, you wanna fix pictures, um, really in-depth color changing and things that are really more involved with your photographs. Photoshop has all the tools that you need to get that job done. Lightroom, on the other hand, has a lot of tools that Photoshop does, but the big difference between Photoshop and Lightroom is that Lightroom allows you to catalog your images. It's a way to organize your images through files and or folder structures and um, has different ways to view them, to sort them, to organize them so that you don't have to do it all right through, uh, say, um, Finder or Windows Explorer or whatever. So in addition to being a great organizational tool to organize your images, Lightroom is also fantastic at editing your images. It gives you a great way to process your images through the different panels, through the basic panel. It gives you contrast, uh, you know, clarity, brights, dark shadows, highlights. It gives you tone curves. It gives you sharpening and vignettes. Pretty much anything you would need to edit a photo you have right there for you in Lightroom. Now there's always some things that you're gonna need to go to Photoshop for. Uh, for example, if you need to retouch out um, say there's something in your picture you don't want there, uh, you're probably, you might have to go to Photoshop to do it. Lightroom has some basic tools that you can use, but really you're probably gonna wanna go to Photoshop, but it's super easy to jump back and forth between the two uh, since they're both Adobe programs and they give you a great way to really just be able to take an image from Lightroom, jump into Photoshop with it and bring it right back into Lightroom uh, with really without much work to it. So Lightroom is super in depth, there's a lot to it. I do have some videos on my channel about how to use the different features of Lightroom, how to organize uh, files and stuff. And I'm gonna be putting up more content on how to work with Lightroom and how I use it uh, in hopes of helping somebody out there uh, get going in Lightroom. So I hope this video helped you out and see a little bit of the differences between Photoshop and Lightroom. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. So I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe over there. Right up over there, you should be able to subscribe. And more videos are going to be up over here. <laughs>